African Elephant Graphite Drawing Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. So here is the drawing that I am doing. It is on paper that is 11 by 14, I believe. So I'm just going to start and using a 2B pencil, I'm going to sketch over the entire background. So just with really nice soft lines, I'm going to go over everything. And I would like to apologize at this point that my lighting is occasionally a little weird. I was drawing this while traveling and depending on turns in the road or all of that good stuff, the sun did sometimes pose to be a problem, but it's not too bad, I promise. Um, so I'm just going to go over that, and I'm having a piece of plastic underneath my hand so that none of the oils in my skin damages the paper and changes the way that the graphite reacts. So then after I go over it in one direction, I'm just going to switch it up and go over it the same exact way, same pencil in the other direction. This is going to prevent any of those little lines from showing through because there's so many of them that they kind of just disappear. So just lots of drawing over it. It's amazing. This part, this process probably takes me about an hour to do, which when you think about it, I mean, that's quite a bit of time. So then I'm going to go through and just buff over the background with, um, it's just a cheap wadded up piece of tissue. And um, that's just going to blend out all of those lines really quickly and easily. And then using a 2H pencil, I'm going to go through and sketch out my elephant. And one thing I do want to say about that tissue that I use to blend out the lines is that you want to make sure it's a cheap one because any of them that are more expensive, they tend to have like aloe in them or lotion or something to prevent your nose from getting raw. But that is going to get onto your paper and it's really going to mess with it. So you want to make sure it's inexpensive and low quality and that's going to give you the best results. So then using that 2H, I'm also going to incorporate a little bit of a, or not, a 2B and an 8B. I'm going to go through and block in the shading on my elephant just a little bit here and there. So I'm just going to deepen the color in the ears and on the trunk and the head. And then using a blending stump, I'm going to blend out all of that that I just did. Make sure everything, you want all these lines to remain nice and soft at this point. I'll go through and I'll harden some of the edges later, but for now I'm just going to make sure everything stays soft. So then looking back at my reference photo, I'm going to go through and find the areas that need to be darken some more, add some more from that 8B, blend them out again, then just keep going. So now I'm going to be defining all my lines with a 2H, just running over the perimeter of everything and making sure it's nice and sharp. And then using a 2B, I'm going to start adding in the wrinkles of my elephant. And this is really the part where it makes it his skin texture show through and makes him look nice and alive. So just go through and add all of your details on him. So just, and you want to make sure that you follow the planes of his body when you're adding the wrinkles so that they are the appropriate shape. So like around his ears, they should be nice and curved and really curved over his trunk. And then they kind of spread out like a drip in the ocean from his eye, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to do the underside of his trunk, which also has a kind of a slight line coming up the center of it. And then go over and do his legs, making sure that you kind of spread the wrinkles out around his knee a little bit, just like that. And then with a needable eraser, I'm going to highlight all of the areas between the wrinkles. So not like all the, not every single section, but just bits here and there really to enhance and deepen the shape of your of your elephant. And then in the areas that really need brightening, say his tusks and a couple like around his eye and on the one ear that's got more sun hitting it, I'm going to take a gel pen and just further highlight those areas with little lines. And that is it. So I hope you like this. And like I said, it's just a quick graphite drawing that I did in the car. So yeah, and check out my Facebook and Instagram for more art and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!